Um, hi, Nick. So uh, Nate, the Great's journey from that first episode where we get to see kind of his excitement that someone like remembered his name and remembers who he is to where he is now has been kind of an up and down journey, I think, for a lot of fans because we all loved Nate and it hurt to kind of watch all of it go down into like now we kind of see that anger and that upset he still has within him, even when he found his own success. And so for you as an actor, what has been kind of the most exciting part about that journey and getting to play that specific arc? It's not a villain arc, but like the like twists and turns that we saw throughout the show. Yeah, definitely. I feel like, um, well, it's been, ultimately it's been a, you know, it's been a challenge. I think um, uh, I found, um, the sort of season one version of, of Nate was, mm-hmm. you know, l- largely a comedic role. And, you know, there was some real fun to be had with that. And certainly something that I found a lot more comfortable um, uh, doing. And then, yeah, I guess gradually, certainly from like the latter half of season two onwards, a lot of that comedy was, you know, largely replaced with more emotional sort of dramatic storytelling. So, yeah, I mean, it, but but on saying that, it's just been such a thrill because, you know, it's very rare that as a, as a, you know, supporting member of a cast that you kind of get to go on such an extreme journey as, as, as mm-hmm. next. And um, so that, that has been a, a joy and, you know, I welcome the challenge as well. And, you know, it ultimately kind of makes it a bit more rewarding, you know, when you certainly, you know, when you kind of get through to the, to the end and, you know, I know obviously where it's heading and I've, and I've known for a while now as to what mm-hmm. those three season arcs w- were going to look like. So it's, yeah, there's a certain sense of like, okay, here we go. And it's re- it's always fascinating seeing what, you know, the audience, the fans do make of the show and and, and, and that storyline in particular. Yeah. And I think what's really interesting is like the dynamics and like the pairings throughout the show always kind of shift. And like in season three, we're seeing Roy and Jamie together, but like Nate went from being a central part of the team to now he's I almost called him Giles, but he's hanging with Giles because yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. he's hanging out with Rupert. Um, and he does have a lot of scenes where he's alone And you can feel that loneliness. And so, but for you as an actor, you went from being a part of hanging out with everyone to kind of on your own as just like you in these office scenes, for example. And so do you miss kind of that camaraderie that came with like being in the locker room and being on the Richmond side of things? Yeah, completely. And, you know, obviously so deliberate from a storytelling (laughs) point of view to isolate Nate in that way to kind of allow him to sort of try and reflect and, you know, it's again, so deliberate to just always position him on his own. He's just on his phone, you know, he's just looking on his phone or he's calling, you know, he, he, he has very little interaction with, um, you know, w- you know, with very few people. And often when it's say with Rupert, you know, he's clearly really scared of Rupert, you know, so it's, um, you know, Rupert's a real toxic force in his life. So I feel like, um, yeah, I tried to use the sort of sense of abandonment and suddenly being on a new set and with new people and, you know, the West Ham players are all new and the intimidation mm-hmm. that kind of comes with that. Uh, sort of try to channel that into Nate's performance as much as possible because you know he would be feeling like a a fish out of water completely out on a limb you know not with his his friends and colleagues and you know not hanging out in the locker room or with the diamond dogs and so yeah there's a real tragedy to that um but you know one that you know has to be there as part of the storytelling it would be weird if he he suddenly was still (laughs) still hanging out just went back and was like hey guys with me again um I do, though, the humor for uh, Nate does come from kind of that restaurant. Um, Mm -hmm. And I do think that that is funny that that is this one connection to kind of people is going to the same restaurant where him and the hostess have some tit for tat. And then the owner is just like, here's some free food. Um, But so with Nate, though, as a character, you are finding those like funny little moments throughout like a darker storyline what has been your favorite moment that you got to explore in season three that is on the lighter side? On the, oh, on the lighter side. Well, actually, um, um, Spencer Jones, who plays Derek, the, uh, the restaurant, the taste of Athens owner, Mm -hmm. he is, I mean, I've known Spencer because he's a comedian and we've done like a lot of live comedy together in London and stuff and up at the Edinburgh festival, but he is so funny, like proper funny bones. Like often Eddie who plays Jade, we, we would be like, falling about laughing at some of the things because he would not I mean he was very it was very scripted his his role but he would bring this sort of odd and it really odd upbeat energy to it and yeah like you say some of those scenes could be quite socially awkward and a little bit dark because you know we're looking mm-hmm. at Nate and his insecurities and his trouble to speak particularly with women and 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 yeah Derek sort of turns up and is like an absolute foghorn and I I, I used to you know have to sometimes just like look away otherwise I would laugh and, and ruin the scene so <laughs> 
that those scenes have always you know they've they've been really fun um thank you so much for talking with me today as someone who i have a belief sign that i made taped on my door because nice. i was the ted lasso of truth for halloween yeah. one year uh <laughs> i was upset when nate ripped up that time but it, i i've gotten over it because i love okay. his arc in season okay. three very much so thank you so <laughs> we'll much for talking with me today thank can't you. wait <laughs> thanks